Warning. The Mega Man X channel and all of its videos are not meant for viewers under the age of 13. Parental guidance is advised. Hey guys, be sure to visit my Facebook page store where you can buy anything figure related directly from me. I have a wide variety of figures, accessories, anything ranging from hot toys to SH figure arts, Figma, and third party items as well. All you have to do is message me on Facebook. Visit my Facebook page for more info. I'll leave a link in the description below. How's it going my fellow collectors and welcome to my special edition anniversary collection video. Can you believe it? It's been four years since I made my first video on this channel. And I want to de dedicate this video to all of my subscribers. This one goes out to all the 267 subscribers that I got on my channel right now. I know it's not a lot, it's not a large number compared to other YouTubers out there, but when I started this channel, I didn't even think that I would reach that high. So, even though it's a small number, I really want to show my appreciation to all you guys by doing this collection video. Thanks to all of you for showing your support, for subscribing to this channel, it really means a lot to me. I'm going to dedicate this video to you guys and those of you guys that have been subscribed to my channel since my first video this is especially for you guys so stick around and we'll continue on with showing you guys my full collection we're gonna start off with the hot toys first all right we're gonna start off on the top of my armor and we have all of my hot toys star wars figures Starting off on the far left, we have the Hot Toys Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then in front of him, we have the Hot Toys Episode 2 Attack of the Clones Yoda. And then we have behind him on his lava base the Hot Toys. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Dark Side Version, Anakin Skywalker. And then we have the Hot Toys Deluxe Version, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, Emperor Palpatine. I got him on the throne right now with all the lights turned on. And then we have the DX-16 Darth Maul from Episode 1, Phantom Menace. And there's the Sith probe droid right beside him. And then right in front of him we have the Hot Toys Episode 5, Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader. Alright, so that's my Star Wars collection. And we'll move on from there to my first Detolf. Alright, and starting off at the top shelf of my first Detolf. This is my Aliens and Predators shelf. Starting off in the back on the left. We have my custom Dutch Schaefer from the movie Predator. It's a Hot Toys custom. It's got the Hot Toys head sculpt, but it's sporting a M35 Fison muscular body. Everything else is Hot Toys. And then right next to him we have the classic Predator from the movie Predators. But I customized this one as well to make it look like the 
Jungle Hunter Predator from the first Predator movie. I gave it the bone necklace. That necklace is actually an authentic Hot Toys necklace from the first Hot Toys figure. And it's also got a bone sash on the side of him. And he's also got a spinal cord on his back, which you can't see right now at the moment. And he's got leather straps on his elbows. I also got him a bloody spine and skull trophy that he's holding in his hand right now. And then in front of him we have the alien warrior from the movie Aliens. I got him with the tongue sticking out right now. And then right beside him, we have the AVP Requiem Wolf Predator. This is the latest one to come out by Hot Toys. Right now I have him in the final battle pose where he just ripped off his bandolier. And he took off his mask. You can see it right there in the back where he's getting ready to fight the alien predator hybrid. Moving on down to my next shelf, we have my Terminator 2 shelf. This is one of two Terminator 2 shelves. Starting on the right, we have my Hot Toys MMS-117 Terminator 2 T-800. And he's sitting on the ZY Toys Fatboy Harley Davidson motorcycle, which has been custom painted by me. And since my last video, I did a little bit more custom paint work on this bike. So as you can see right there, I painted from there all the way to the tail of the motorcycle. All the way to the tail lights, as you can see. So it ex extends all the way. You can't really see because of the saddlebags are in the way, but you get the idea. And also, I had to replace his belt because it fell apart on me. And this belt, I bought it off eBay. And it's really close to being screen accurate. I like it a lot. And it doesn't fall apart as easy as the stock Hot Toys belt that this figure comes with. It's really durable. I really like the material that it was made out of. And then next to him, we have the Terminator 2 T-1000. This is my first hot toy that I ever bought. It's still in my collection. And then moving down from there, we have my second Terminator 2 shelf. We have the DX-13 Battle Damaged T-800 from Terminator 2. And then right next to him, we have the statue that it comes with, the liquid metal T-1000 statue. And then right below that, we have my Terminator 1 shelf. Starting off on the left in the back, we have the Hot Toys Terminator Genesis Endoskeleton. I kit bashed this one a little bit. It's got the phase plasma rifle from the Hot Toys Terminator 2 battle damaged endoskeleton. And the base is also from that as well. And then in front and center, we have the T1, T800, the Technora version. And then right beside him in the back, we have the Battle Damaged T-800 from Terminator 1. Which some people like to call the Police Shootout version. But I currently have them displayed in the final look of the movie. 
And I have a problem with him at the moment. The jacket is falling apart on me. I don't know if you could tell from looking at it, but he's got a whole bunch of rips on the jacket right now. That's why I'm telling you guys the material, the pleather that these Hot Toys clothing are made of, they're not built to last. So because of the weather, I'm assuming, the material has just started to fall apart and crumble on me. So be very mindful of your figures, you guys. Alright, so that's my first detolf. From there, we'll move on to my custom display cases. So, starting off in the first display case, this is what I like to call my 70s display case. Starting on the left in the front, we have my custom pumping iron Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, he's got a Hot Toys T1 T800 head. He's got a Fison M35 muscular body. And the clothes are made by Hedgemony77. You can buy them on Etsy.com online. And then in the back of him, we have my custom Hot Toys X-Men Days of Future Past Wolverine. The clothes are made by Pop Toys. That's P-O-P. So he's got a Hot Toys X-Men Days of Future Past head. And so is the body that as well. And the claws are from the Hot Toys The Wolverine figure. And then on the right we have the caustic plastic Rocky Balboa from the movie Rocky. Caustic Plastic is based out of Italy. This is my latest addition to my collection. There are two versions you can get. You can either get the urban version, which is this version, where he's wearing his street clothes, or you can get the gym version, where he's wearing his sweatpants, sweatshirt, and uh, all of his training gear before he was going to start the big fight. Moving on from there, we have my Suicide Squad display case. On the left, in the back, we have my Hot Toys BVS Batman. And he's currently wearing the underwater breathing mask. And then in the front, we have my custom Hot Toys dancer dress version Harley Quinn. The dress and the shoes are custom made by Super Duck. And she also has the Fison large bust pale female body. Everything else is Hot Toys. The head sculpt, the jewelry, the hands, and the stand and the pole. If you guys have seen my review for this figure, you'll know everything that I did to it. Moving on from there, on the bottom here we have my next custom display case. This is my Keanu Reeves display case. On the left we have the Hot Toys The Matrix Neo. And then on the right, we have the Hot Toys John Wick Chapter 2 John Wick and a custom dog. And then we have the Avengers Infinity War display case. Starting off in the back, we have the Hot Toys Infinity War Thanos. And then in the front, on the left, we have the Avengers Infinity War Iron Man Mark 50. And then on the right, we have the tech suit Spider-Man from Spider-Man Homecoming. 
All right, so that does it for my custom display cases. We'll move on to my second detolf. Okay, starting on the top shelf of my second detolf. This is my Dark Knight shelf. Starting off in the back on the left, we have the Hot Toys Lieutenant Jim Gordon from The Dark Knight Rises. He's all stock, nothing's been done to him. And then to the right of him, we have the custom Daft Toys Dark Knight Rises Bane. So it's a Daft Toys head sculpt and Daft Toys clothes and a Fison M34 body. Even the display base is made by Daft Toys. And then we have the Dark Knight Batman Armory Bruce Wayne. And then in the front on the left, we have the latest release of the Hot Toys Two-Face from the Dark Knight. With this one, I've modified the head sculpt just a little bit. I've added a little bit of gloss to the burn side of his face to make it look a little bit more fleshy or mushy. And then to the right of him, we have the Hot Toys DX12, The Dark Knight Rises Batman. He's wearing a custom cape made by Jackson Zhu, and the head sculpt is from the Hot Toys Dark Knight Batman Armory figure. And to the right of him, we have the Hot Toys DX01 Dark Knight Joker. He's mostly the DX01, but he has a DX11 head sculpt, a DX11 tie, and he's holding the DX11 submachine gun. Moving on down to the second shelf. In the back, we have the Hot Toys Batman vs. Superman Battle Damaged Armored Batman. And to the right of him, we have the Batman vs. Superman Superman. I got him in a flying pose right now. And then in front of him, we have the Hot Toys Justice League Wonder Woman. And then on the left of her, we have the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. But I've kit bashed it. She's wearing the prison version Harley Quinn head sculpt at the moment. Moving on down to the next shelf. This is another Marvel shelf. Starting off on the left in the back, we have the Netflix Punisher. He's all stock at the moment. And then on the right, we have the Hot Toys Deadpool from the first movie. I got him in an action pose right now, shooting up some bad guys.
And then in front of the Punisher, we have a another custom figure. This is a 1-6 scale Wolverine from the movie Logan. The head sculpt is made by Eleven. And he's got a Hot Toys Wolverine body. And the clothes are also custom. But the shoes are made by Eleven. Moving on down to the next shelf, we have another Marvel shelf. Starting off on the left in the back, we have the Hot Toys Mark III Iron Man from the first Iron Man movie. This one has also been a little bit kit bashed. It's got the Tony Stark mech text head sculpt, but everything else is stock. And then to the right, we have the Hot Toys Scarlet Spider suit from the PS4 video game Spider-Man. And then you got the pizza there in front of them. And then in the front, on the right, we have the Hot Toys X-Men Origins Wolverine. But he's got a custom head sculpt that is also made by Eleven. And this is another custom figure on the left. It's basically Tony Stark from Avengers Infinity War. He has the Hot Toys True Type narrow shoulder body. He's got the Hot Toys Tony Stark uh, Infinity War Mark 50 head sculpt. He's wearing custom glasses. And the clothes are made by MC Toys. All right, so that's my last detolf. And that is also all my Hot Toys figures, guys. From here, we're going to take a look at all my 112 scale figures. So if you guys are interested in that, stick around. If not, then I'll see you later. All right, we'll start off on the top of my custom display cases. These are mostly Street Fighter SH Figure Arts figures. Starting off on the left, we have the SH Figure Arts Street Fighter Ken. He's performing the Shoryu Kin right now. And then right next to him, we have the SH Figure Arts Ryu. And then we have my most recent addition to the Street Fighter line. We have the SH Figure Arts M. Bison, or Vega, as he's known in Japan. He's got some custom parts on him. The cape, I made that myself. And he's also got the Shadow La symbol on his cap. And he's got the Lightning Bolt symbol on his belt. And then right next to him, we have the SH Figure Arts Akuma. And I customized him too a little bit. He's got the kanji on his back. And then right next to him, we have the SH Figure Arts Chun Li. And then right next to her, we have the True Force Collectibles Mega Man X. This is the standard version. And this is also the mascot of the channel. Moving on, here we have my Mezco figures. Starting off on the left, we have the Mezco 112 Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man. This is the tech suit version.
And then we have the Mezco Tiger Striped Wolverine. And then to the right of him, we have the Jim Lee version Cyclops. And then on top of that, we have all of my Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts figures. Starting off on the very far left, we have the demoniacal fit Kaioken Goku from the Saiyan Saga. And then right next to him, we have the SH Figure Arts Scouter Vegeta, the 2.0 version. I customized this one a little bit too. I added the lines in his armor. And right beside him, we have the SH Figure Arts Saiyan Raised on Earth, Son Goku. And he's holding the power pole. And then in the back we have the Super Saiyan Warrior Awakening Son Goku. And then in the front of him we have the 2.0 Final Form Frieza. And then right beside him we have the 1.0 Teen Gohan. He's in his regular Super Saiyan form right now. And right beside him we have the 2.0 Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan. And then right beside him, we have the SH Figure Arts Majin Vegeta. And he's fighting with a custom Super Saiyan 2 Goku. It's basically the ultimate Gohan body with a Fairy Tail Customs Super Saiyan 2 Goku head sculpt. And the Super Saiyan Warrior Awakening face. Right above them, we have the SH Figure Arts Great Saiyan Man. And right beside him, we have the SH Figure Arts 2.0 Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I got him with all these effect parts right now. And then right next to him, we have the SH Figure Arts 1.0 Vegito. This is the very first Vegito that came out, but he's got a custom painted head sculpt. And then we have a custom painted SH Figure Arts Gogeta from Fusion Reborn movie. This whole figure was custom painted by Fairy Tail Customs. It's basically the Broly movie Gogeta, but it's all custom painted. And then right above, we have the Super Saiyan God, Goku. And then right below him, we have Super Saiyan God, Vegeta. This is basically another kit-bashed figure. He's got the Super Saiyan God HUD sculpt from the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta from the Broly movie. And the body is the premium color edition Super Saiyan Vegeta. I don't like putting the head on the Broly movie body because the body's too big. When they transform into Super Saiyan God, they're supposed to be slender. So that's why I have them like this. Moving on, we have the Goku Black Super Saiyan Rose figure. This is the first one that came out. I know that they made a San Diego Comic-Con edition with a different tint to the color on the hair and a different tint to the color on the clothes. And then we have the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku 2.0 from the Broly movie. But I kitbashed his belt so he can represent the Dragon Ball Super Goku. And then right beside him, we have the SH Figure Arts Super Vegeta. But he currently has the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta 2.0 head on his body. And then right below them, we have my Broly movie shelf. 
So this is my Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan 2.0 Vegeta from the Broly movie, but he has the Super Vegeta head sculpt on it. And then on the bottom left, we have the SH figure arts Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Gogeta, also from the Broly movie. And then right beside him, we have the Full Power Broly, also from the Broly movie. And then right beside him, I believe they call this one the Ikari Broly. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much my whole collection. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in on this special video marking the fourth anniversary of the YouTube channel of Mega Man X. I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, I shall catch you later on the tube. All right. Bye, guys.